News update. Anarchy looms in Nigerian southeastern states as IPOB militants threaten to quash Anaba Guba pools. INEC reacts. Details. INEC insists on November 6th Anaba Guba poll despite IPOB's threats by Oshosondi. TO2 PM on October 5th, 2021. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, as said, the November 6 governorship election in Anabra State will go on as planned. There have been fears that the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, in the state may hinder the conduct of the election. Daily Trust has reported how politicians went into hiding and suspected carpets as a result of the chaos in the state. Amid the uncertainty over the election, Director Voter Voter Education and Publicity, Heineck, Victor Ayodele Aluko, told Daily Trust on Monday that the Emergency Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security Meeting would, among others, deliberate on the way forward for the Anambra election. Asked if INEC was considering postponing the election as a result of the insecurity in the state, he said the answer would come after the meeting. But speaking at the meeting, INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, assured that the election will not be postponed. He recalled that during the ICCES last quarterly meeting on 9 September 2021, the committee received briefings and reviewed preparations for the election and that a major concern raised by members was the security situation in the state in particular. The adjoining state in, the, in general and how this might affect preparations and possibly the conduct of the election. Unfortunately, the situation has deteriorated markedly since our last meeting. Many innocent lives have been lost and property destroyed. From the reports we have received, the stated goal of many of the attackers is that the governorship election scheduled for 6th of November 2021 must not hold. This is worrisome for the Commission. We are deeply concerned that specific electoral facilities and materials could once more become targets of attack. Recall that in May this year, our state office at Oka was attacked and all the non-sensitive materials assembled for the election at the time were destroyed. In addition, our store, coalition center, and the main office building were either totally or substantially damaged. The commission also lost several vehicles to be used for the election. We appreciate the enormous challenges that the security agencies are presenting, facing, presently facing in Anabra State, which entail not only securing the electoral process, but also enforcing law and order generally. This is particularly worrisome because the security agencies have become have also become prime targets of these mindless attacks. We will continue to work with the security agencies and in consultation with respected opinion leaders in Anabra State and the National Peace Committee to ensure that these hit and run attacks do not derail the electoral process. To underscore this determination, the Commission is implementing two more activities on the timetable for the election in the next few days. The Register of Voters will be presented to political parties in Orca on Thursday, 7th of October 2021. On the same day, the Commission will publish the final list of candidates for the election, he said. He also expressed joy that the Commission have almost fully recovered from the attack, as the destroyed buildings have either been completely repaired or are nearly completion, and the Commission equally have fully replaced the materials destroyed. He said, this rapid recovery has only been possible because this is an off-season election. We have sourced some of these materials, such as the 326 electric generators and vehicles destroyed in the attack from neighboring states. The INEC boss, however, admitted that they should be the commission again 
lose vital materials and facilities, the ongoing preparation will be adversely affected. He said, INEC is particularly concerned about the safety of voters and election day staff, including security officials, who have also become the target of the attacks. He said the thousands of young Nigerians that we intend to deploy for the election. Most of them, National Youth Service Corps, NYSC members, and university students, need to be reassured of their safety. The INEC officials, they reacted to the looms that is going on in the South, not Nigerian southeastern state as the IPOP militant threatened to destroy or to destroy the Anabra gubernatorial polls that is coming up November 6, 2021. The annex says they are coming up with different things to make sure that the election hold, that the election will not hold, that although the INEC offices, vehicles, and some materials have been destroyed, but that would not say the election will not hold. That we will make sure the election hold and hold peacefully in order that people can come out to vote. The underscore, to underscore the, the determination, the commission is implementing two more activities on the timetable for the election in the next few days. The register of voters will be presented to political parties in Orca on Thursday, 7th of October 2021. And on the same day, the commission will publish the final list of candidates for the election. The INEC official also expressed joy that the commission have almost recovered fully from the attack. As the buildings that were destroyed have either been completely repaired or they are almost been completed. And the commission equally have fully replaced the materials destroyed because their vehicles were destroyed, some materials were destroyed, innocent lives were taken, properties were destroyed, the the prop and the materials needed for the November 6 election was also destroyed. But they are very happy because the commission have almost recovered everything from the attack. The TV26 electric generators and vehicles destroyed in the attack from a neighboring state. The INEC boss, however, has admitted that the commission if the commission should lose any vital facilities or material before the ongoing election, that the ongoing preparation will be affected adversely. He said that the INEC is particularly concerned about the safety of the people. Thank you for listening and God bless you.